you're looking at us crazy. We're not shooting up your guns. We're not sending no men to you. That's what you should be looking crazy at. Right. Now we men here talking about keeping God's commandments and right. loving your people as you understand. Right. But they looking at us for Like we said something wrong. No, look, Ray Ray carrying a Glock 9 on a block. That's wrong. Right. Our sisters don't have no heads of protection. That's wrong. Right. You better talk. Because you were God's chosen people And they was your arch enemy He's your arch enemy We don't care if he look like Brad Pitt Angelique Jolie Or a Hollywood star We're the, we the, we the mighty man on the earth Put you in this position. Why did God put you in that position? Because you're disobedient. So the only thing gonna get sin got you in this condition, and repentance gonna get you out of this condition. Zephaniah chapter two verse one. Gather yourselves together, yay! Gather together, O nation, not desire. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to any birth person at the sound of my voice, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Yeah. You can look at us crazy. We're not shooting up your blocks. Yeah. We're not sending no men to you. That's what you should be looking crazy at. Right. Now we're men here talking about keeping God's commandments and right. loving your people as you understand. Right. But they look at us for it. Right. Like we said something wrong. No, look, Ray Ray carrying a Glock 9 on the block. That's wrong. Of protection. That's wrong. Right. You better talk. Our house are broken and destroyed. That's wrong. Our children are filling up the prisons. That's wrong. Our people make good, evil, and evil good. That's wrong. Right. Our people are walking dead. We have no purpose. We have no hope. Just the way God like it. Talk, man. Reason why God like it? Talk, because man. you tried every way or your own way. And guess what? Talk, God man. said you're never going to do it better but without me. Because Christ is divine. Read. Talk, Talk, man. Man. Read. 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 Read it from the top again. Gather yourself together. Gather yourself together. What that mean? What do you mean gather yourself together? We can't gather, sister. We cannot gather together doing our own things. We have to sacrifice for the greater good of our people. That's why we in this condition. You feel one way. That sister feel one way. That brother feel one way. They feel another way. And guess what? We are confused as a people. And the real men say, I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to discipline myself for the greater good of my nation. Right. You remember what um, JFK said? He said, don't ask what your nation can do for you. Ask what, what you can do for your nation. Right. What are those willing spirits at? Who's willing to gather together and say, whatever the Bible tells me to do, it's done. Right. Right. Because God wants your whole heart. Right. Right. He don't want nothing partial. Just like when you marry a man, you want his whole heart. Right. You want him to love you. Right. That's what we about. We not our people enemy. We not our people enemy. We not our people enemy. So I'm wrong for saying, brothers, love your girl, love your wives. No more girlfriends, no more boyfriends. How can we stop the AIDS epidemic in our community? Do we have any solutions like that? But everybody just want to be prideful and puffed up and like they know something. So what is the solution? Guess what? Our people don't even deserve to party together. Because why? They don't even know how to respect each other. You're right. Because guess what? They're going to gun each other down in the street. They're going to rape their sisters. They're going to put date break right. drugs in their drinks. That's not love. Right. And when they do that, who's going to hold them accountable? Right. Like that. Who's going to hold them accountable?
hold them accountable. That's why people should not even deserve to party with each other. Right. They will cry, they will travel all across the world to come and do wickedness. We know we will travel all across the world to do good. Yeah. We don't know it. We born of it. Read. Gather yourself together. Yeah. Gather together. Oh nation. Not decided. This is not the million man march. This is not the million man march. Everybody just walking again after the march, they go back home and say different lives. What we are doing, we are waking up a nation. We say gather yourself together. Know your greatness. Right. Know your strength. Right. Know your God. Right. I'm going to tell you something. Every majority of people out here, their pastors have failed them. Right. And I'm going to show you that. Our pastors have failed them. Because you got these young men, got these Dracos, these guns, and shoot each other down the street. Why? Because they have no hope in life. They have been deceived. Bring it out. By Hollywood enemy. lights. Somebody lied to them. I, what, our mothers are broken the, right. the men don't know what's going on in their life, what's making them feel less than a man. Right. And guess what? Hurt people hurt people. Right. And guess what? And our mothers and our fathers, they don't know how to love truly, unconditionally that child. Thanks, man. Thanks. And guess what? The mama and daddy separate, then mama bring different men in the house, and guess what? That young man grow up feeling unloved. Majority of the prisons, see this is what people don't understand. They they used to they used to send people coming out here just ran ran because they unhappy with life. No, we're pretty cool. We got, we, we got degrees. We got jobs. We, we have wives. We coming out here because the love. Right. That we have for our people. Yeah. And we wouldn't have put it all on the line. Right. Right. Just like Christ did. Just like the prophets did. Just like Isaiah, Jeremiah, yes, Ezekiel. Yes, Everybody did. Christ did. The, the 12 disciples, Paul, Peter, they all laid it on the line. That's what it means. Gather yourself together. I wouldn't have laid it on the line for my people. Yeah. Yeah. Come together. Yeah. Gather yourself together. Yeah. Gather together. Oh nation, you nobody, from your sister, heart. no other nation loves you. That's what the Bible, this is the Bible talking. Right. That's real talk. The Bible is telling you nobody loves you. That's right. Bring it out. Everyone is against you. Right. Did you ever think of who your enemies were? Do you think this was an accident? Do you think it just so randomly happened? No. The life that you live right now was created before you got here. I would say it again for you. The, the life that you're living right now was created. Huh? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. No, what I'm saying is the enemy, the enemy being a slave, being sorrowful, being heaviness of mind, feeling lonely, having to depend on drinks, having to depend on sin. Not you. Not you. Our nation. Our nation are destroyed. One thing we have to do, we have to, this is us right here. We have to step outside of ourselves and look at our nation and say, what is going on here? You understand? So we have to understand who destroyed us. Psalm chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. You hear our prophet say, keep not thou silence, O God. What does that mean, keep not thou silence? It ain't deep. Uh, it's not a trick question. Right? To, to be forceful, to make yourself, a, to appear. You know what I'm saying? Read. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tabot, and they, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So, what is the context of this, this part right here before we go forward? Because it goes back into a crisis saying why the children of Israel are lost. Read it again for them. Take your time. For lo, thy enemies make a to know. And they that means a loud gathering, your enemies. They have a loud gathering towards you, to the nation of Israel, to so called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They made a lost to know with hatred against you. Because at this time, you know who you are. You know who you are. Because if you lose something, that means you once had it. Right? I lost my keys, that means I had keys. I can't lose something I never had. So therefore, when Christ got come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, at one point in time, they knew they before they was lost. So now you gotta ask yourself, 
why you lost. Because you ask, these, you ask everybody walking up down here, they are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Bring it out. They lost in their identity. They lost in their culture. They lost in their God. They Bring lost in their dress code. Yeah. They lost today from their identity on how God want them to look. Right. Just like your boss have an image for his company and God have an image for his people. That's right. Right. Because he said, you're the son of the earth. That means you add play to you add flavor to something and you're not you're not you're not fulfilling your purpose right. for lo thy enemies make a to know so now what was the key word right there huh what excuse me who, who making a to know your enemies so you telling me God's people have enemies right. who are your enemies I will, I will go short one second and I'm gonna come right back. Because I want you, because one thing about the Bible, do not preach up, we can understand this. Do not. Oh, that don't need that. Anybody follow that? 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 Let's go. So, it said the enemies have made a tumult. Because a lot of my people will be confused and say, there are so enemies. We all wanted Jesus. Right? That's what you heard, right? God loves everybody, right? He's a loving God. Boom! Is this love right here. Did God see this? Did God witness this? Or guess what? The other, did the other nations pull, uh, did they pull a wool over God, God's eyes? And God said, Whoa, man, the spirit ran up God. I ain't know what they done. Right. No, it ain't the God we serve. Read. Right. Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 9. Watch, watch this, watch this, watch this. It's going to be pinpoint precise, precise on, about the enemies to the nation of Israel. See. Once again, once again, we have to say this because this was not told to us. The nation of Israel is the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Oh, that's right. That's right. They are God's chosen people. Boom. That's a shock. I know it is. Your brain is like, whoa, what is that? I never heard that before. I just thought I was a Christian. I thought I was nobody. I thought I was a Gentile. You're not the Gentile. You great people on the face of earth. Read out. Read. Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 9. Also I said, it is not good that ye do. Ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies? Who are your enemies? Read it again. Sir. Also I said, it is not good that you do, ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies? So who's the enemy? Wow. And who was the heathens? You see that? You see that? These are the little things that escape us where it keeps us in a, a, a whirlwind of confusion. Okay, now, it says the heathens are the enemies. You, that's where your faith in God and keeping his commandments that he was going to protect you from the heathens. That's your enemy. Remember, we're still going back to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go back to, I mean, Psalms 80. 83. Because I job, I job is to make the Bible make sense. But we make the Bible make sense, and that's your incentive to change. Because if we continue to change, you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna get it. It's gonna be like forcible words. But once we start to make it plain and you start to grasp it, you start to understand it, then that compels you and motivates you to want to change. And to want to keep God's commandments. Why? Because it's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. Change is bigger than all of us. Right, Pete? Psalm 83 and verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted off the head. The other nations that was forever under you, they said they lift up their head. You know what lift up, you know what lift up their head means? What does that mean? Let it go. 
I'll help you. Alright? You know what you think, baby? Thank you for your patience. Alright?
guess what? You probably be that one that's lost. Because two thirds is a lot of people. Two thirds is going to be a lot of people that die. You may say the way of destruction is why. Many. Why? Because our people have many demons on them. They got legions on them. To where they not even trying to hear God's word. Don't you feel now without one thought, without one negative thought, and say, well, I'm the only one standing here. Come strong, man. And start to question yourself. No. Don't do that. Come strong. You say, thank God for showing me mercy. Come strong, boy. Thank God for showing me mercy. Because guess what, sister? We was all like that. God can save us one at a time in one at a city. Read. Exodus 5, verse 1. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. Right. You see that? That's what we coming out here letting the whole Let world know. Let our people go from all these, these strange doctrines, these strange philosophies. Let them go. Let them know who they are. Remind them of everything that you took from them. They not doing that. How can you love somebody who took everything from you and give you nothing back? And if our people come from nothing, why you have to destroy something that's already nothing? Why you have to, just, why you have to doctrinate something that's not there? That's nothing. The little common sense, the little things that we overlook, they destroyed you because you was God's chosen people. And they was your arch enemy. He's your arch enemy. We don't care if he look like Brad Pitt, Angelique Jolie, a Hollywood star. We're the, we're the, we're the mighty man on the earth. We're the mighty nation on the earth. And guess what? Y'all don't touch the apple of God's eye. is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the